What is up everybody, it is The Climax, and today we are going to be reviewing Dunkirk. Dunkirk is Christopher Nolan's new film. If you have no clue who Christopher Nolan is, he is a very, very good director. He uh, has directed the Dark Knight trilogy and Interstellar. And let me just say, he does not disappoint with Dunkirk. Going into this movie, I actually had quite a few fears. Uh, the first of those fears being that the movie is PG-13, and that is super odd for a war movie, because most war movies are rated R, so they can show off the gore and use the language that you'd expect most soldiers to use. But luckily, Nolan pulls it off with ease, keeping it that PG-13 rating to allow more people to go see this phenomenal film. Uh, the second one being... Uh, Harry Styles being one of the main actors. Harry Styles, if you don't know who the hell he is, he's a One Direction boy band uh, lead singer. And you wouldn't, I was very worried about him, but Christopher Nolan said he saw something in the guy, and I can say he can act, okay? Harry Styles can fucking act. And the last thing, which is my smallest complaint, is uh, the movie's not that long. I mean, it's less than two hours, which is incredibly odd for films these days, but it it doesn't really matter because the movie still ends up being great. So for those who don't actually know the main story of Dunkirk or the plot to the movie, it's basically about British soldiers losing the uh, Battle of Dunkirk, and it's them on this beach trying to get home. Everybody's fighting to survive while they're just getting bombed from the skies, and when, whatever boats they have are getting destroyed by U-boats, and they just have no way of escaping. But it's actually a very uplifting story because as they're trying to escape, a bunch of civilians do come and they bring their civilian ships and get uh, most of the soldiers off of the beaches. Thank God. Okay, so to talk about the acting, so everybody does a good job, but who really actually stuck out for me would be Harry Styles, mainly because he's never acted before and he does a phenomenal job in this movie. He does a great job depicting the soldier that just is terrified for his life doing whatever he can to get home he actually doesn't have that many lines in this film and doesn't speak much but he does a fantastic job depicting his like emotions through facial expressions what he's doing at the time you know like i just said there's actually not much going on like vocally from the uh actors it's more or less just their facial expressions and everything like that this movie is more focused on the noises of war and definitely making you feel like you're kind of there because you these explosions going off these you when you hear the torpedo when you see the fucking fighter ships coming in the noises that they make and the sound of the bomb dropping it's all just so real and it's done so fucking well i just cannot rave more about how well the sound design in it is in this movie. The last thing I really want to say about the movie is that they did a phenomenal job with their transitions because if you did not know, this movie follows basically three groups of people. The first group being the pe the soldiers on the beach trying to escape, you know, fighting for their lives. The second group being the civilian ships coming to rescue the soldiers at Dunkirk. And then we also have the fighter pilots in the sky that are basically working their hardest to make sure these ships can take off and get these soldiers home. Guys, that is more or less all I have to say about Dunkirk. It is a phenomenal film, a must-see for this fucking summer. You have to go see this movie. It is amazing. Christopher Nolan has outdone himself. And if you really want to know what my final score for this is, I give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. It is just amazing what Christopher Nolan did and Harry Styles and just all the actors in general it you gotta go see the movie it's great if you've seen the movie let me know what you think about it down below if you haven't seen the movie go fucking see the movie then let me know what you think about it down below or hell just tell me if you had the same fears as me or just anything at all I just want to hear what you guys have to say did you like the video did you hate the video tell me below please Anyway, it's been the Climax piece. I'll be back with another movie review next week.